Hey guys, what's up? It's GM from A to Z over here. I just want to show you how to delete an operating system that either works or doesn't work, but it shows up on your splash screen. So in other words, when you boot Windows, you're going to get the option to start or boot from this operating system. Usually it's 30 seconds by default, and it's very annoying, especially when you try to install and you canceled it. It still st shows up in the master boot record so there's a few ways to do it one quick way to bypass it is if you go to my computer and you right click go to properties go to advanced system settings and then go to where it says startup and recovery if you you'll see the second you'll see if you have one two or three you'll see it but you cannot delete it from here but what you could do is you could set this to zero where it says timeout or just uncheck it like that and what's gonna happen is when you start it it will be like it never was there so it will just go straight to Windows but that's not really a good way to do it because it's still gonna be there and another way to do it would be is if you go to MS config in your run screen you will um, also go to boot and sometimes the operating systems won't show up here just a default one but you can also set the timeout to zero and it will do the same thing and you won't even know that it would be there you might see like a split second of it, but so that's a cheap way out. But the real way to do it is go to your Windows icon, go to your uh, command prompt as an admin, okay? And then over here, you're just going to type in um, B C D E. Uh, what is it? I think it's D I T. Yeah, okay. And that's going to give you. There it is. So this is going to give you what your uh, operating system is. See, Windows Boot Manager. It's going to tell you what the identifier is. And under here, Boot Loader is going to show you your identifier, the current, and right now it's Windows 10. I don't have an operating system, a second one on here. I already deleted it. But I'm going to show you if you did have one, it would show up under the boot loader. It would show up like another whole row of it, and it would say your current so what you want to do here to delete that is you just want to go in and type in the same thing again so that's b c d e d i t space forward slash delete and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go put in one of these curlies you see the number right here this whole number obviously that's for my Windows 10 so you don't want to uh, put that in but let's say you had another identifier let's say at Windows 7 underneath this it would have a number for Windows 7 so you want to type in this whole number with the curly braces just like the way it is inside here with all the dashes okay and then obviously you press return now it's not going to notice it because it's obviously uh, not the right thing but then after that well, all you're gonna do is if you want to check it again you just type in the same uh, B C D E D I T to see if it disappeared and it guaranteed to work and next time you start your computer you will see that that's gone and that's it there you go so that's a quick way to get rid of an operating system um, that either is corrupted doesn't work or you just don't want it no more to delete from your splash screen. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, press like.